your little one is now home and he probably already has some fingernails that have been cooking up in the womb and you are so scared that he might scratch himself but you are also so scared to cut those little nails without hurting him I got you, I've been there and I didn't really know what to do as a first time mom, cutting the nails of a newborn can be really really scary. So in this video I will present to you the best way to cut your baby's toenails and fingernails without hurting them at all. I've tried almost all methods and in this video I will share the ones that work the best for me. First, let's go through what didn't work for me or what I didn't try but never ever wanted to try, which is biting the nails off for your baby. Oddly enough I've heard that some people are doing that. First of all it is not sanitary at all. You can end up not cutting the baby's nails correctly, biting them off is not a good way and you will also transfer a lot of bacteria on their little hands that they can touch their face with or actually place in their mouths. So I highly suggest not doing that for your baby. Another thing that didn't work for me that I did try was filing the nails. I was scared to use a nail scissors or the nail clippers for my baby as he was so little and I tried filing the nails but that didn't work because the nails were so so soft. For me the whole nail just moved from side to side without anything happening. Now if you're too scared or too tired and exhausted to cut your baby's nails off in the first few days and you're scared that he might scratch himself, you can always use those little gloves or mittens for babies. I've used those for up to two months because even if I did cut the nails, he would not stand still enough for me to cut the corners of the nails and so he would still scratch himself and the nails will also grow really fast. So I use those mittens until up to two months because when they reach almost three months, they learn how to use their hands and it's just not recommended to use gloves. Now how do you cut the baby's fingernails correctly? And the first thing you need to make sure of for this to work is that your baby stands still. Now I've heard some people use to cut their baby's nails in their sleep but for my baby that just didn't work at all because he would be even more fussy in his sleep than he was when he was awake and he will also really pull his hands or feet so I could not cut them. So the thing I did to distract him was place him down laying down on his changing table and I will place something on top of him that would spin around, a toy or something else that he could keep his focus on while I cut his nails. And another thing that you need for this to work is the right instrument. For the fingernails I didn't like using the nail clippers because I was too scared I would take too much of the nail. So what worked for me and what still works for me is using nail scissors. You can also cut the baby's nails after a bath so the nails can be even softer, but their nails are soft either way, so you can cut them whenever you get the chance. The nail scissors will give you the freedom to cut the nails from edge to edge in a round shape without damaging the nail. Also, I suggest waiting for the nail to be a little bit grown so you can cut from edge to edge without hurting the baby's nail and without cutting too much of it. Now the main thing you need is to hold each finger individually as I'm showing you and make sure to hold it firmly, not too firm so you can hurt the baby but firm enough for him not to pull his hand and risk hurting him. Now grab the baby scissors and start cutting from one edge and go around until the other edge. Cut all the way in the shape of the nail and repeat for all other nails. For toenails I found that the best method is by using nail clippers because the shape of the nail on your toes is a bit different. Same thing goes for cutting these nails, make sure to hold each finger individually and only cut when you're sure that the baby is not moving and you've placed the nail clippers only on the nail. I will rather clip little bits of the nails step by step instead of trying to clip all the nail at once and hurting him. Reposition the nail clipper if you're not sure and be patient as well.
and also make sure not to trouble with their corners this can cause infections and just cut the nail as it is grown toenails can be a little bit more tricky because babies are ticklish around their toes and they can pull their legs and they're usually more active with their legs so this can be a little bit more tricky but you need to be patient and just wait for your baby to be a little bit calm before cutting the nails to avoid hurting them now it's a good thing that toenails don't grow as quickly as fingernails so there you go, this is a full complete guide on how to cut your newborn baby or your baby's fingernails and toenails step by step. I hope this video was helpful and don't forget if you want to watch more such videos every single week to subscribe to my channel. You can follow my social media links below and I will see you in my next video.